Look how shiny my face is. And what you can't do is smell through the camera uh, the cookies. I actually have a pretty popular cookie set up here in Central Florida. It's hard to ship. We're working on that. But anyway, I think it's, uh, oh God, my own company. I don't even know what it is. I set up an Instagram account. What is a shameless plug here again? Uh, totally awesome cookies or daddy's bakehouse. Anyway, anyway. So you can't smell through the thing, but you see how shiny my face is. I'm, I have beef tallow because I'm in the farming industry. So, but you know, there's this huge thing about seed oils right now and how bad they are for you. Well, I mean, I don't know. We've known that forever, but what about olive oil? So again, coming from the farming ranching industry, dealing in this industry for 30 some years, all real olive oil is super expensive. You know, my cost a lot of times is like 30 bucks for this little jar cost that, geez, the grocery store sells for five, 10 bucks. Yeah, sure. And I remember years ago, there was a place, Daytona Beach of Lucia County, I think somewhere out uh, near Daytona Beach, might've been Daytona Beach, Lucia County, that was caught for tilapia or whatever, but then they found out they have fake honey and fake olive oil. And I thought, I think mo 90% of honey a few years ago, pre-COVID, was fake, and uh, I think olive oil, it was it was just as bad. And there was a place in Ocala, Florida, that actually made it, and I went there, and it tasted 100% opposite. Well, not 100%, but for the most part, 100% opposite of, you know, normally the stuff you get in the grocery store. So, you know, it's being used in beef tallow, a lot of beef tallow, and I'm thinking you're just putting a, uh, however they make it, olive oil. And honestly, I don't know how they make fake olive oil at all. I, I really have no clue. So if you know of anything, you know, put in the comments, or whatever, I, I'd love to know. Uh, and so it's something I'm thinking about because, you know, a lot of people consume it. And I didn't, I, I was always told as a little, as a, from a little kid, which was a long time ago, that you're only supposed to use it on your body. It's more for cosmetics, which I, again, I understand in uh, tallow, but I never knew, you know, we always use it for dipping because I'm from up north. So it was always a dipping thing at a restaurant or whatever, or just at the, at the family table, table when you make, you know, homemade bread or whatever. So something to think about. Sorry, I actually shaved. So, but anyway, appreciate it.